welcome. If you're new to our channel, my name is Melissa and this is my daughter Natalie. Um, and today we figured we'd give you a video update of what's going on in our garden. So we've had a lot of rain lately, which has been awesome for our garden. Um, so we haven't had to do too much watering, but I also wanted to show you, we have been saving a ton of rain off of the top of our chicken coop. So we haven't had rain for the past couple days. So tonight, Natalie and I are out here to give our garden some water. Um, we have a dry spell, at least what appears to be a dry spell coming up. So we're gonna give the vegetables a good soak today. So come on over and we'll show you what's growing. So this is how we've been watering our garden. We have um, a system in place where the water from our chicken coop gets stored into an ICB tote and then we have a hose and it is gravity fed right now to our garden. Um, eventually we'll have a pump attached to it um, so we can have some pressurized water and then have um, watering just be a little bit easier so we wouldn't need the watering can. But um, it's definitely a labor of love, but we're really enjoying the time spent doing this together each night. We'll fill up our bucket and go ahead and water our garden. Eventually it'll be much easier Okay, so let's turn it off. Oh, it's heavy. So right now I'm watering the green beans. And right here are the sugar cube cantaloupe. And these are the, the sugar baby watermelon. And that's all in this garden bed. <laughs> all right. These are our gorgeous green potatoes. Yes. They're the potatoes have just grown wild here. <laughs> yeah. And we've been working on hilling them, but mm. I would say in the past couple days, they've just doubled in size. Now we actually used some organic potatoes that we got from the store. Um, a lot of people that I've talked to say that you can just use organic potatoes from the grocery store, um, have them chit them yourselves and then plant them in the ground and I mean this is proof to me that they grow pretty well every single one that we planted came up so I guess time will tell uh, when we harvest them to see how well they do so I try to keep them pretty moist uh, potatoes don't like dry ground especially because you're trying to grow the tubers underneath so they need some loose pretty moist soil so in this bed we have um, about five tomato plants we have two peppers, and we have the saddest eggplant that you've ever seen, which we've actually nicknamed the sacrificial eggplant. So we had an infestation of flea beetles, and they seem to just love my eggplant leaves. Um, so we, we call it the sacrificial plant because everything has been completely untouched except for the eggplant. It got destroyed. Um, so in an attempt to save it, I've actually have um, a little solution of diatomaceous earth and some water in here that I've just been giving this a spray um, and just kind of spraying the leaves. And you can see kind of in the beginning when I wasn't spraying compared to how everything looks now that I have been spraying. Um, I mean, it's definitely, you know, much better, still not 100% effective. So if anyone has any ideas for how to keep uh, flea beetles off plants, that would be great. So the happiest plant in all of the garden, of course, is the zucchini. I feel like um, it's probably one of the easiest plants to grow and I always get an abundance of it. So if you live near me and you want some zucchini, let me know because we have four plants right now and they're all doing awesome. Especially the yellow straight neck squash. Um, there's at least eight growing on each of these plants here. And then we have the green zucchini in the back. So these are our five tomato plants. They are the beefsteak tomatoes. So they will be a larger slicer tomato. These tomatoes are gonna to be really great for um, burgers or for having them on sandwiches. So in this bed, we have five more tomato plants. Um, these are called Pink Lady Tomatoes, and I've never grown this variety before, so I'm super excited to see what kind of tomatoes these will be. We have two more green bell pepper plants, and we have two more sacrificial eggplants. 
These are actually a little bit happier than our sad eggplant in the other bed. But again, you can see the difference between the leaves when I started spraying for the flea beetles versus when I wasn't um, spraying. So I think this is our favorite garden bed. Um, last year I bought heirloom black turtle beans and we grew a plant, one little plant in a pot. And then at the end of the season, the girls shelled all the beans and we stored them in a little jar. Um, and then we planted them to the, uh, this season and every single one of those beans grew. So this entire bed is pretty much filled with black turtle beans. So we will definitely um, be having a lot of black beans over the winter <laughs> and then saving a handful for next season's crop. Now behind the black turtle beans, we have cucumbers growing here and we've been working on getting them to climb up these sticks. Um, cucumbers love to trellis. Cucumbers love to vine, so we just have a makeshift trellis here. And they are super happy, growing really, really well. Each time we come out, we just kind of coax them to go up, up, up. And then we found this gem today, hidden <laughs> beneath the trees. How do you get there? This is a large, burpless cucumber. So he will be ready to pick, maybe in a couple days we'll pick him and throw him in a salad. That would be delicious. Last but not least, we have our blackberry bush. We had one in our old house and we absolutely loved coming out and picking the blackberries off of it all season. So we definitely had to have a new one um, when we moved out here. It's starting to get some flowers. It actually has a whole bunch of berries on it, do you see? Wait, really? Yeah, look at all these, in this little cluster. That will be good to eat. Yep. So hey, thanks for joining us on our little garden tour. Um, we've been enjoying it so far, spending time together, just the two of us each day, just taking care of our garden and, and spending time together as mother and daughter. So thanks so much for watching. Um, if you like what you see, we'd love for you to subscribe and follow us on this journey. Thanks guys.